in this lecture we are going to work on the functionality of starting a new chat with a user currently in our application if a chat is already started between a user and a given user in that case we are not showing the start chat button but if chat is not started between the logged in user and some other user for example if i type steve here you will see that there is no chat which has started between john and steve so for that we can see this start chat button so now what we want is when the start chat button is clicked it should start a new chat between john the currently logged in user and the user for which we have clicked on this start chat button so for that in the backend we already have this create new chat api so from our react application we are going to call this create new chat api and what this create new chat api is going to do is it is going to create a new chat document in our mongodb database and in that chat document it is going to update the members array in that members array it is going to store the user id of the currently logged in user and the user id of the searched user with whom the user has started the chat all right let's go to our application and there the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to call the create new chat api so again i'm going to copy this function from here let's paste it here let's call it create new chat and here for this function we are going to receive an array let's call that array members okay so this members is going to be an array which is going to store the user id of the currently logged in user and the user id of the user with whom that logged in user has started the chat then we are going to make a post request here not a get request but a post request because we want to create a new chat on the server and for creating something on the server we make a post request and here let's change the api endpoint so if i go to postman there we have this create new chat api this request and as you can see for this request we are making a post request and let me go ahead and let me copy the endpoint of this api let's go back to our react application and there let's change that endpoint so it is api slash chat slash create new chat and since it is a post request here we also need to send the request body and here we are going to send an object in that object we are going to have a members property and that members property should be assigned with the members array which we are going to receive for this members parameter all right and here we are going to wait for the response to come and once we will have the response we are going to return the response data from this function and from the catch block we are simply returning the error which might have occurred let's save this file and let me close this protected route for now let's also close this user slice and let me close this search component and sidebar component now let's go to user list component and in there we are already importing all users we are importing all chats let's also go ahead and let's import the user state because in this user slice we also have this user state so we also want to use this user state in this user list component so here i'm going to import that user state from this user reducer and here since this variable name is also user and what we are importing from user reducer is also named as user reducer here i'm going to provide an alias for this one so here i'll simply call it as current user okay you can also provide an alias for the variable which you are creating and now wherever we want to use the details of the current user the logged in user there we will use this current user variable okay now before we do anything what we are going to do is we are going to create a function here which we are going to use to call the create new chat api okay so let me go ahead and let me call it as create new chat and instead of using this function keyword i'm going to use arrow function syntax so i'll create a variable first i'll call it create new chat okay and here we are going to use arrow function syntax and this function is going to run asynchronously so i've used this async keyword here in here let's again write try catch block from the catch block what we are going to do is 
if any error has occurred in that case we are going to show that error using the toast message so for that i'll use this toast and to use this we need to import it from react hot toast and here i'll say toast.error and we will show the error message so basically we will show the response dot message okay now from within this try block let's go ahead and let's call this create new chat so so we want to use this create new chat api but we also need to import it first so let me go ahead and let me also write the import statement and we want to import it from from the current directory we are going to move one directory up we will move one more directory up let's move one more directory up let's go to api calls from there let's go to chat.js file and from there we want to import this create new chat and since this function name and what we are importing is same let me call it as start new chat instead of calling create new chat okay and from here we are going to call this create new chat let's use this await keyword let's go ahead and let's store the response in a variable okay and what we need to do is when we are calling this create new chat it is expecting an array you see it is expecting a value for this members parameter so for that we need to pass an array here and in there we are going to pass the id of the current user and that current user we are storing in this current user variable so here we will say current user dot underscore id and then we are also going to pass the id of the searched user so here let me also pass searched user id okay now let's say we are going to get this searched user id as a parameter to this function all right so from wherever we will call this start new chat there we are also going to pass the user id of the searched user so this is the array we want to pass as a payload to this api now what we also want to do is before we are going to make the request we are going to start the loading indicator we want to show the loading indicator so for that first of all let's go ahead and let's create a dispatch so let me create a variable i'll call it as dispatch and to create this dispatch we are going to use use dispatch and to use this use dispatch we need to import it from react redux now let's go ahead and let's use this dispatch to show a loading indicator first for that we are going to call show loader okay and to use this show loader we also need to import it from loader slice we are going to call it and after we have received the response we are going to hide the loader so let me copy this and let's go ahead and let's hide the loader so again in order to use the hide loader that also we need to import from loader slice and in the catch block also we want to hide the loader let's save the changes all right now we are going to check if response is successful for that we can say if response dot success so if this success property of the response is true that means we have received a success response in that case first of all i am going to show a toast message so for that we will use toast dot success and there we want to display the response message then what we are going to do is we are going to create this variable let's call it new chat so whatever new chat has started we want to store that new chat in this new chat variable and that we are going to get as the response data so in the response we have this data property and this is going to return us the new chat which has started the new chat document which has been created in the chats collection then what we want to do is we want to update all chat state because the all chat state is currently not storing this new chat which we have just created so we also need to update that all chat state and there we need to add this newly created chat for that i'm going to create a variable let's call it updated chat and this updated chat 
is going to store all the chats which we already have for that i am going to use spread operator on this all chat state so it is going to give us all the chats from this all chats and then we are also going to add the newly created chat that we have in this new chat variable so now this array which we have created here it is storing all the chats it is storing the previous chats from all chat state and it is also storing the newly created chat and now we are going to update this all chat state with this array so for that again we are going to call dispatch and here we are going to call set all chats okay so we are going to import this set all chats from user slice so this is our loader slice not from here let's go to user slice and here we have this set all chats right so we also need to import it so let me copy this let's go to our user list and here let me go ahead and let me import set all chats from let's go to that folder so we have the redux folder in that folder we have user slice okay so we are going to use that set all chats and now to this we are going to pass this updated chat and this set all chats is going to update the all chat state with this updated chat and what this updated chat is storing it is storing an array which contains all the chats the previous chats as well as the newly created chat and this should be it let me save the changes here next we want to start the new chat whenever the start chat button is clicked right so let me copy this function name and let's retract this function okay now let's go to the button where we have the start all chat so this is the button on this button let's go ahead and let's handle click event for that i'm going to use on click and here we are going to pass a function which should be executed whenever this button is clicked and there we are going to call this create new chat and when we are calling this create new chat here we also need to pass the id of the searched user and for that again we are going to use this user variable so here let's pass user dot underscore id let's save the changes so till here we are done let's save the changes and let's quickly test this functionality so let's go to our application and there we have this error response is not defined that's because let's go to the function which we have created this function so this response will not be accessible outside of this try block so what i will do is i'll create that response variable before the try block and i'm going to set it to null initially let's save the changes again let's go to our application so currently it is only displaying the chats which is already started now let me search for steve okay and let me also open the network tab so that we'll see whether the request is getting sent or not okay now let me go ahead and let me click on this start chat button so i'm trying to start a chat with steve fleming when i click on this create chat button you see this create new chat request has been sent and for that user now you can see that now that start chat button is not being displayed so john smith has also started a chat with steve fleming and if i remove this search text here now you will see three users with whom john has started the chat right so our create new chat functionality is also working as expected now what we want is for the existing chats whenever we click a chat we want to display the messages of that chat in a chat area 
So in the next lecture, we are going to create a chat area. And for now, in that chat area, we will simply display the chat ID. Later, when we will start fetching the messages for the chat, then we will display the messages. So let's go ahead and let's work on displaying the selected chat in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.